you won't believe what I just found. This episode is literally from 1990. The Simpson predicted that France would mock Jesus Christ in the Lord's Supper. Guys, I can't even make this stuff up, guys. It's really just... It blows your mind just seeing the fact that the Simpsons predicted these things to come. Which we all know the true reason is that the Simpsons is not that they predicted it. It's that they work alongside the people who control the world. And much deeper than that, I think it's kind of like that thing that Ryan Garcia said, which I honestly personally think that he was very disingenuous about what he said. A lot of the things were a little over exaggerated. But as far as like when he was talking about how like uh, the occult world, the way it works is that they have to actually show it to you in your face. Right. And so I feel like that's true to an extent because I've also heard other people uh, research the occult and that is kind of how it works. They have to kind of like show it in your face. It's like a form of mockery. And that's why you see like humiliation rituals and things like that of like your favorite artists. Like, let's say John Cena, when he wore a dress, but he's like this very buff, masculine man. It's like a humiliation ritual. They have to show it in your face, right? That's just how the occult works. It's based off humiliation and not based off of humility. That's the difference. Jesus Christ, as Christians, we walk in humility, but the satanic individuals, they walk in humiliation because their hearts are far from God and they live lives that they're not proud of. They live lives that they're truly miserable in, even though they might be smiling on the outside and they have a facade inside, they're inwardly wicked and evil. And you know, they their God is Satan, their God is the father of lies. But enough of that guys, I do wanna mention guys really quickly before I show you guys the clip, please become a member on our Patreon at patreon.com backslash Nate Born Again. Also, if you wanna just go straight directly to our website, which is much preferred you can go on our website at thinkingmindsministry.com please for only 4.99 guys it's less than a, a starbucks coffee literally less than a gallon of gas for four dollars and 99 cents a month guys you guys can help me financially you continue doing this work for you guys so i appreciate all your financial support god bless you guys so much but let's just go ahead and get into the video guys because this is going to be very interesting and it is kind of like a little tiktok edit so it, i know some of you guys might find it a little corny funny whatever some of you guys might find it cool i think personally whoever edited this i mean just did a really good job but let's just go ahead and get into the video guys I'm sorry, guys. I personally won't be able to show that part just because if I do, they're going to ban me. Unfortunately, guys, I'm sorry. There's too much censorship on YouTube. But I mean, as you guys can see here, it's made very clear like, OK, of course, censorship, censorship, censorship. I mean, but you guys pretty much get the point, right, guys? So basically, it's just a mockery right in our face. And the Simpson is saying, hey, we already know this is going to happen because in the 1990s, we already said that France is going to have an Olympics. And in this Olympics, there is a somehow like some kind of like synchronization with that. And then the Last Supper of Jesus Christ. Why they decided to do it like this, I don't know. I can't tell you. But it's obviously uh, with one goal in mind is to mock our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because they have an Antichrist agenda. And this is the reason why Christianity is the only religion that can be mocked out there. And it's not that we Christians are cowards and that we don't speak up actively against the stuff. Because I see so many Muslims, you know, say, oh, you guys are just cowards, you know, especially with the Tate brothers. They're like, oh, you guys are a bunch of cowards, you soft Christians. It's not that we're soft, guys. We actually talk about these things. It's either A, we get censored. Like, for example, I get censored a lot here on social media b if we don't get censored then our uh, we we do still talk about it but maybe our voices aren't heard um just because we don't do violent acts doesn't mean that we're cowards as christians guys but the reality is guys we realize that this is not a wrestle between flesh and blood but it's a it, it's a spiritual battle between 
dark, evil principalities and dark high places. And so whenever we look at the word of God, the word of God makes it very clear. And as the book of Ephesians states, we need to fully equip the former of God, the helmet of salvation, the buckle of truth, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith and the sword of the Holy Spirit. Because whenever we come against the devil, when we come against temptation, when we come against the enemy, when we come against all these things he's trying to do against us, we can be able to defend us. We can be able to defend our loved ones as well, guys, because he also will he tries to do is he tries to put our family members our loved ones our friends against us he tries to build what we call i guess you could say generational curses uh things down your lineage your bloodline basically for people to not follow jesus christ to live in lifestyles and habitual sin and the reason why you know this stuff happens or the reason why the devil wants this stuff to happen is so that we can't focus on jesus christ which is the most important thing in our lives but whenever we look at this guys remember the devil does not predict anything so this is why whenever people go to like fortune tellers and things of that nature they're not getting anything prophesied to them what's happening is you're giving the devil authority over your life and so when you give the the devil authority over your life he'll say oh you're gonna get married to a woman that has you know red glasses every single day and this woman that wears red glasses every single day you're gonna get married to her nate you're gonna get married to her in 10 days and then you're like what are you talking about i i I'm, i i already have a girlfriend or i didn't know i was gonna get married i'm not looking for a relationship right now right whatever the case may be the devil, when you give him authority over your life, and this could be through fortune telling, this can be through going to sorcery, whatever it may be, when you give him that, that door into your life, he'll come in and wreck it open, guys. And what he'll do is he'll create the circumstances that have to occur in order for you to marry that girl who wears red glasses. And obviously, this is just an example right this is just an example i have to make that clear because i know there's a bunch of karens who like to misinterpret or misunderstand what i'm trying to say but if you get what i'm saying basically the devil he can't prophesy anything so what he'll do is he'll give you false prophecy and that if you believe it he'll come into your life because you give him that authority and he'll make certain events happen so that prophecy can be fulfilled so it's not really a uh, prophecy being fulfilled from the simpson it's really an orchestrating of events and it's kind of like letting us know what's going to happen ahead of time because it lets us know that they really do have this this power and authority to basically manipulate and control the world events that are currently happening for example another uh, thing that they quote unquote prophesied was kamala harris going into office after donald j trump how did they even know that was going to happen in the year 2000 that's at least 25 years before kamala harris might go into office donald j trump got elected as the united states of american president in 2016. so if he got elected in 2016 and they predicted that he would be president in the year 2000 and predicted that kamala harris would be fighting after him for presidency i mean it's just it's ridiculous guys the fact that they knew this stuff shows you guys that this whole world is a stage and that everything is set up so this olympics you know stunt of mocking our lord and savior jesus christ guys this is just the the, the tipping on the icing, guys, because honestly, this whole world is in Olympics, guys. It's all a mockery of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's satanically, it is what they do. It's very sad, but Simpson did not predict the future. Simpson orchestrated the future, you know, and, and that's the unfortunate reality of what you guys see today. And that's why it made appear as if the Simpson and these other individuals predict the future when it's reality far from the truth. And the reality is, is that they're orchestrating the future because they're satanic puppets. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share it with somebody. You also believe this video could be edifying for someone that can learn something new. And please don't forget to become a member on our Patreon at patreon.com backslash Nate